great. Today, I'm here to share some stories with you about my passion, clean technology. And, and there we go. Oops. Here we are. <laughs> so clean tech. If you care about solving climate change, if you care about bringing on the innovations that are going to help us get off dirty fossil fuels in this country, you have to care about clean tech. Clean tech is the industry that is innovating the new energy sources, the new products and services that are making our society fundamentally environmentally friendly. But guys, clean tech has a problem. And the problem is, there's a story out there right now that says clean tech is dead. When Solyndra filed for bankruptcy on September 1st, 2011, people said it was a new chapter in the clean tech industry, that this industry was a failure, that it was too expensive, and that we couldn't have clean tech in this country. And I'm here to tell you that is fundamentally not true. I work with dozens of clean tech companies that are innovating the technologies of the future that we need, and they're doing it in a way that is profitable and really, really exciting. And when I see a story out there that says clean tech is dead, I say we need to fight back with our own stories. And what I'm here to do today is to share with you some stories that you can take into your communities and that you can spread to show people that clean tech is not dead. Clean tech lives, and it's going to totally change our society. The first company I want to tell you about is called Nest. Nest is the world's first learning thermostat. Look at it. It's beautiful. It was designed by Tony Fidel, the same guy that designed the iPod. Yeah. Nest learns your behavior in the home. It automatically optimizes your heating and cooling and saves you tons of money on your energy bill. Nest has sold out of every single product it has made so far. It has a wait list of thousands. And Nest is the first energy efficiency product that I've seen that has consumers going gaga. So Nest is really a pioneer in showing us the power of design in making beautiful, functional, clean tech products that people actually want. The next company I'm going to show you is called Scoot. We call them Zipcar for electric scooters. You take your smartphone, you walk up to one of the 40 scooters currently on the road in San Francisco, you unlock it with your smartphone, and all of a sudden you're zipping around the city on 100% electricity for $5 an hour. Scoots cost 18 cents to charge. They get the equivalent of 850 miles to the gallon. You go 30 miles an hour on these things on half the power of your toaster. <laughs> there are 30 million of these scooters on the roads already in China, and Michael Keating, the CEO of Scoot, is bringing these guys to the US, and it's totally going to change the way we move around cities. The next company I want to tell you about is called Mosaic, and they are going to change the way we can spread solar around the country. In the past, solar was financed by big banks or bought out of pocket by homeowners. Not anymore. Solar, Mo solar Mosaic is a crowdfunding platform that allows you and I to invest $20, $200, $20,000 in solar and get a return on that investment. So now we have a place to put our money to help spread solar and get a return. And this is going to unlock a huge amount of capital to bring solar to the US in a big way. The next company I want to tell you about is called Jelly. Now, how many people have heard that wind and solar just aren't going to work on the grid because they're intermittent, the wind blows sometimes, the sun only shines half the day, and we can't have renewables? Well, Jelly is going to change that. Jelly writes software that makes batteries smart. And if batteries are smart and they can talk to the grid and they can talk to the renewables and they can talk to your home, all of a sudden we have a whole new world of control in how we put that energy into the grid, how we take that energy from our home and put it back on the grid, and this is the bleeding edge of where our grid is going. So Jelly is going to make renewable energy possible in this country. The last company I'm going to share with you is called RidePal. And what I love about RidePal is that they are taking single occupancy vehicles off the road during commute times. They're helping commuters get out of their cars and travel to work in beautiful Wi-Fi enabled shuttles. What's cool about them is that the people who ride RidePal love it because they get two hours of their life back and they all of a sudden get a commute that's actually productive. The employers that purchase RidePal love it because it allows them to actually recruit and retain the best employees for their company. But RidePal's fundamental effect in the world 
is reducing emissions and taking away congestion during commute times. And I love that a clean tech company doesn't have to sell an environmental message in order to sell a really, really cool product. So that's RadPow. So please, share these stories. And remember that clean tech is our future. And the last thing that I want to leave you with is that I'm going to ask you, what was the thing that was unique and the same across every single one of those companies? They all had software. We call it digital clean tech. Software, connecting with clean tech, is going to make the products that we love in the clean tech industry available and effective for every person in America. Thank you so much.